What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be doing brick investments on the Lego Justifier. Guys, we finally got a mic. I think it sounds so much crispier than the freaking um, iPhone audio. Uh, go watch my past videos just to see the difference, but I think this sounds so much better and super happy to finally have a mic. I think this is a little tilted. Let me fix that though. There you guys are. All right, but anyways, um, we're getting places in the world, so that's always fun. Um, we're gonna hop right in today, guys, and we're gonna do brick investments on the Justifier this Friday, so. Let me go grab the set and we'll hop right into it. So, I just bought this set for Black Friday. Um, I guess I should say Cyber Monday actually. And I've been really happy with it. I think it's, it's huge for one thing. It's like a lot bigger than I expected it to be. I mean, just look at like size comparison compared to me. You probably can't see my head, but like it's pretty big. Um, and when you put this down, it's like even longer. So there's that too. But you keep that up and yeah, really cool set. Uh, you got a nice interior to it. Um, I mean, it's huge. Some cool functions. When you drop this down, the landing gear comes down, as you can see. So that's pretty neat. I like that feature. Um, I don't know what the ship looks like, but I've heard it's very accurate to the movie or show. I think it's in Bad Bash that it's in. But anyways, that takes us to the figs. So we have four figs in this set. They say five, but I mean... I don't really count this little droid. It's sweet. It's a cool fig, but I mean, I don't really know if I'd count it a droid. It's just one molded piece. But um, we've got four figs in this set, so that's what we're going to start out with. So guys, here they are. We've got Omega, Hunter, Cad Bane, his droid, and Fennec. Four figs in this set. I think it's a really solid lineup too. Obviously, you want more than just four figs in a $170 set. I picked this one up for 100 through Walmart Plus. Um, you'll see that in my Black Friday videos if you go back and watch those. But we'll start with Fennec right here. I already had one from that Boba Fett's throne room, but I think this one looks really good. You got the dew molded face, the printed arms. I think that really makes her stand out, having those printed arms there. And the helmet is really cool. You've also, I also have like an extra headpiece for her and Hunter. I just didn't throw them on because the helmets obviously look better. But I think for Fennec, this is actually a really good look. Now, as we move to Omega, um, I actually opened her day one in the Advent Counter 2. Same exact figure. Uh, well, yeah, no, same exact figure. Um, so kind of boring there. We've had her in sets before too, so like nothing super special. But, um, still another fig. We now have Hunter. I think he's the second best fig in this, though. Uh, no arm printing, sadly. Um, but the face underneath is really cool. They really did a good job on that. And the helmet itself looks super good. Especially no helmet holes, so that's always a plus. Um, but the only thing I don't like about this one is when you're looking at it straight on, you can see the skin underneath. But... And other than that, super good fig. And finally, the best one of this lineup is Cad Bane. Now, I have that old Cad Bane from the Turbo Tank, but I think that one might be better just because the hat is so cool. But this one's pretty good. I think this is a close, close second. So we've, and Cad Bane is one of my favorite bounty hunters, if not my favorite. So I kind of love getting him in any form. Um, I believe this is the third iteration of Cad Bane we've gotten in LEGO maybe the second uh but i think it's the third and we've got some really nice printing on the chest and torso that flows really well into the legs got a lot of ammo running along his belts there um, the face is really detailed i really like that about it there's a lot of details there it looks really good and the breathing tubes are also a nice feature that they did for this uh but yeah no arm printing sadly but i think other than that the fig is really good um, solid like 9.2 out of 10 fig uh, Finnick I would honestly give about an 8.6 just cause like Finnick I'm not that interested in but she looks really good Hunter again arm printing missing but other than that like a 9.2 as well really good fig 
Cad Bane I just simply like more, but those are the figs. So we're now gonna head over to Bricklink to get some more uh, kind of ideas on the pricing of this set and the figures. So Cad Bane we have at, um, let's see, looking like uh, cheapest 16, most expensive, or the average 28 and the max 65 I don't know why anyone would pay 65 for it right now um, that's the last six months currently the max is 137 which is obviously just ridiculous um, min price 23 average is 40 so we're seeing Cad Bane sell for around 40 dollars I think this is one that's gonna go up a lot in the future guys um, if we head over to brick economy we will see the old one went up a lot as well from that turbo tank so this is the one I have figure 0285 um, from that clone turbo tank as you can see he's now worth uh, about $20 but even back then he's worth only five so not a huge bump for him but when you look at like what you he was worth back then I mean like you see here 194 percent growth so if this guy's if this Cad Bane is already starting out at this price we can probably expect him to go up higher and being updated with the times and being live action looking almost, I think it's a lot better of a fig that more people are going to like overall, just objectively. So we have a lot of potential for that to go up even more. Now on to Finnick Shand. Um, this Finnick looks really good because, like I said, past Finnicks haven't had that arm printing as detailed. And I think the torso printing and leg printing is also very good. Uh, new, we're seeing this one sell for a minimum of eight, max, I, not really going to go off the max, but we're just going to go to the average of 22. So you're probably picking this one up for 10 to 20 bucks. Um, there's a lot of Phoenix out there now, so we're probably not going to see as much growth with this one as we would Cad Bane or Hunter. But still, um, good options for her to grow. Not a bad one to have in this set. Hunter is selling right now new for about five dollars and average is 12 so he's actually the cheapest of all these figs um, and I would say that's because he comes in two sets but even though he comes in two sets guys uh, I think he's still a really good fig to pick up just because a lot of people like the Bad Batch figs and Hunter's like obviously like basically the leader and the highlight of that group so definitely a good one to pick up um, as I was saying though Cad Bane obviously the highlight so if you're worried about minifigures specifically for investing in the Justifier, I would focus on Cad Bane rather than Hunter, Fennec, and Omega. Um, I think that's the mainstay, and we're already seeing him valued it quite a bit. Alrighty guys, so as we take a look at the Justifier on Bricklink, um, obviously it retails right now for 170 most places. Uh, it's not sold out most places yet, but the average price it's selling for is around 160. Um, like I said, new, it's 170, so we don't really have any like evaluation of it right now since it is still on shelves and on the market. Um, but I would not pay 170 for this one. It's only a thousand pieces. So 170 is definitely way out of your price point. Um, this is a set I'm kind of mixed on for investing purposes. I personally am not gonna pick any others up. I think there's a lot better opportunity with other sets. For one thing, I said think this set is valued way too high for, to start with. So I think 170 is gonna probably be where it stays even in the aftermarket for the first year or two, simply because it's already valued way too high by uh, retailers. Um, and furthermore, uh, that's gonna hurt the longevity of this to go up over time. And that's kind of gonna cause it to not jump as much as we would see with normal sets that are priced fairly so one day it may because i think people start to appreciate this later on more for what they are doing right now because this was kind of a crapped on set at the beginning and now that we're seeing it about to retire people really coming around to it and starting to like it and pick it up but unless you get this one on a discount guys for investing purposes i would not pick it up that cad bane is really cool so if you're focused on anything from this set i would focus on the cad bane now guys, thanks for stopping by another Brick Investments. Let me know down in the comments anything you guys want me to go over for a Brick Investments episode um, any Friday, and I can be sure to do that. Thanks for stopping by today. Make sure on your way out you smash that like button, as well as hit that subscribe and turn on the notifications because we've got a lot of new content coming out for you guys. Peace.